everyone. So today I'm going to do a products I've used up video. I apologize for my voice. I'm still sick. It sucks because I'm sick since Christmas and I'm so sorry for not posting a video. I've been really busy. As you know, it's the holiday season. So here we go. Um, I sorted them out into different categories. So I have shower slash hair care. I have skin and I have makeup. So let's go on with everything because I know I have a lot to talk about and I apologize again for my voice if I sound really disgusting. Hopefully it clears up throughout the video. We'll see. <clears throat> so first thing is this Herbal Essences Color Me Happy Color Safe Conditioner. I bought this from Walmart like a long time ago and I like this product. I would repurchase again. However, I do feel like it has like that fake like silicone or like almost like plasticky type of feel but it still makes my hair feel good but I don't know how it is like lengthwise. Like my hair has like the color still been nice but I don't know if I would purchase this again. I think I would but like it's not like the best conditioner I've ever used in my life. Next product is this Dove Dry Shampoo. I love this dry shampoo. It's like my favorite dry shampoo of all time. I purchased this so many times and I've not finished another container of this. I would repurchase again as I, this is probably like my fifth bottle of it. I love it. Next is the Cetaphil Nourishing Body Wash from Restoraderm. Um, I love this. I've repurchased this so many times. Again, I've done this a lot, so I love this product. Next is this Tresemme um, Expert Selection Botanical Detox and Restore with green tea and ginger. It's a conditioner. And I bought this line because I had really, I had an oily scalp for some reason this year and I wanted to try something new that was different because I usually have a very dry scalp but now it became oily. It's back to being dry again because of the winter. But I really like this conditioner. It has green tea and ginger and green tea is like detoxifying and it also adds a little bit of hydration and controls the oiliness in your scalp. And the ginger is just really invigorating and I really like it. Oh my god, my voice. This is so weird. Next product is this L'Oreal Shampoo from Nutri-Gloss Luminaire. I got this sent to me by um, Influencer. So thank you Influ Influencer for sending this to me. I love this shampoo. I loved it. It made my hair very shiny. I'm currently using the conditioner right now. So I didn't use the shampoo and conditioner together. But I really like this shampoo. So... I would repurchase this again if I got the opportunity to do so. Next is the Body Shop, the Body Scrub. It is the pink grapefruit flavor. And the reason why I like this flavor is because, one, it doesn't have almond oil in it. And I can't use products with a lot of almond oil because I'm allergic to um, peanuts and nuts. And I love this Body Shop Body Scrub. It's so good, as you see. I usually use this on days where I need to shave my legs because it helps lift all the ingrown hairs I have on my legs so it helps me shave my legs a lot easier. Okay, so now moving on to skincare. I finished uh, three of my Paula's Choice uh, Skin Recovery Enriched Calming Toner. I'm obsessed with this because it's great for my very dry to dry skin. So I finished three bottles the past few months and I'm obsessed. It's amazing. Um, next is the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum with retinol. I'm obsessed with this. It's such a good serum. It's one fluid ounce, which is like most serums come in this um, one fluid ounce um, size, so I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Next is the Paula's Choice Moisture Boost Hydrating Treatment Cream for normal to dry skin. So I really like this. It's not what the moisture is I usually use from Paula's Choice, but I liked it because it was good for like the summer and fall times when my skin's not super dry. Um, so it gave me enough moisture that I needed throughout the whole entire night. I only wear this at night because it doesn't have SPF in it. I usually wear ones that have SPF throughout the day. If you notice, I have a mint in my mouth. It's actually Halls because, <clears throat> as you know, my voice is still disgusting. So hopefully this helps with my voice. Um, next is this Algenist Retinol Firming and Lifting Serum. I liked it, but I haven't noticed a difference with it lifting because, as you guys know, like... My face is not really like saggy or anything, so I think it's gonna help preventing my face from dragging down. But I really liked it. I like this bottle, it's really unique. Like, it has like the little thing here, it's really skinny. I don't know, I never had a serum in this container before, and it's also one fluid ounce. So, like, this is one fluid ounce, this is one fluid ounce. It's just the packaging that's different, but like, I liked it. I don't know if I repurchased this, but I liked it for what it was firming and lifting lift in the face because I'm turning 30 next year. Uh, next serum is this Dior Intensive Skin Detoxifying Booster Serum. It's the one essential. I love this. I used this morning and night and I'm obsessed with it. It's so smooth and so gorgeous on the skin. It, there's like very little left but like it's super fast absorbing and oh my god when I used this I was like in love. It's so good. I'm obsessed. I, was, I would repurchase this again if I had like a lot of money. I would totally do it. 
Um, next skincare item is the Jolique Rose Water Balancing Mist. Um, this one, I love it because, like, I never thought I liked roses because this, I like the look of roses, but I'm not a huge fan of, like, floral smells, especially the smell of fresh roses. And I was worried it was going to smell like that, but it smells so good. And rose is really hydrating for the skin, so I was obsessed with this, so... I would repurchase the full size of it. This is just the smaller size that they have available, but I'm obsessed. It's so good. Um, next, my cleanser. This is my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Um, I'm obsessed with it. It's for sensitive skin, normal to dry skin. It's amazing. Costco size it. I love it. But I have read in an article recently that Cetaphil is not good for your skin because basically it doesn't really clean anything. It's just like gunk on your face and it's just not good. So I've been trying to switch my cleanser. So right now I'm using the... Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is a small one I got from Sephora. It's a little birthday gift. And I like it, but I don't love it. It's just a smell of cucumber in it that I just do not like. So I still got to find like a new cleanser for my face that I'm a fan of. But I finished this. Currently using this, but I don't know how I feel about it. Like it cleans my face and everything. It's just I hate the smell of the cucumber that's in it. Like it's not the soy that I smell, but it's the cucumber that's like really overwhelming and like bleh, in my face. So, we'll see what my new cleanser will be. This one is a Garnier Skin Active Micellular Water, the all-in-one cleansing water. And I usually use a Bioderma one, but that is so pricey that I wanted to find one that was, like, more affordable. And currently, I'm using this one, and I'm in love with it. It's so good. It's similar to the Bioderma, but it's, like, it's just more affordable. You get a smaller size of it, but, like, I, I still use my Bioderma bottle because I like how I had a pump in it, and it's saturates my cotton pad a lot better but this one I was just like it's nice it does the same thing but I still feel like some makeup is there's still some residue so I have to use like a little bit more cotton pads to clean my skin with it which I don't mind it really depends on the makeup look I'm going for but I still like it I'll continue to use this one um uh even though the bioderma one is like my ideal one it's just really pricey for what it is Next is a Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. It is a serum that you use morning and night. I like it, but I don't love it. It was like a hydrating serum. Let's see if there's any left. It's a hydrating serum, but it's just... I didn't... There's something about it that wasn't enough for me. I feel like this is good for, like, spring, summer for me. But for fall, winter, it's not enough... So, wow, I hit myself in the face. It's not enough um, moisture for my skin, and I feel like... It could be better, but probably spring, summer for me, this is better, not like fall, winter. But yeah, that's a Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. Um, next is the Simple Kind to Skin Mustelar Cleansing Wipes, and this one is 25 wipes. I got this as a free sample when I went to London, England last year. I think it was around Piccadilly Circus or like... Oxford Circle or some place where it's like almost like the Times Square of um, London. They get, they were giving away free samples of this um, during rush hour. So I passed by one of the tube stations and I was able to grab one. So it's amazing because it's a full size product. Twenty five wipes, a full size product they give away. That's amazing. Usually they give sample sizes, but this is like a full size. So I'm really happy about that. I like the wipes because it's saturated with the micellar water and I love it. Um, I think they do sell this in Canada, so I'm going to probably purchase it because I love makeup wipes. I, it's really bad because, like, I got to the point where, like, I'm so used to using makeup wipes through my makeup and then I use my cleanser after, but I know makeup wipes are not good for you. Like, I read that somewhere that it's not good for you, but I don't know. So I finished these, and then the next wipes I finished is the Clinique Pep Start Quick Cleansing Swipes. Uh, they come with 50 in them. I finished the whole entire thing. And the weird thing about it is, on the back it says, avoid eye area. And I feel like this is not meant to remove makeup. I think it just says, it says here, quick cleansing swipes remove the dirt and oil, which can lead to clogged pores, and instant refresh anytime, all skin types. And the thing is, like, you think this is makeup removing, but I feel like this is more like, almost like a wet, a wet wipe, or one of those, like, wet naps or something. But I use this to remove my makeup. I didn't have any allergic reactions to it, and it was okay on my skin, so... I would repurchase this again, and, like, yeah, it's just, it's weird that it says avoid eye area. I used it in the eye area, and I didn't, like, have any eye infection or anything, so, I don't know. <clears throat> Next is it's Kate Somerville Goat's Milk Moisturizing Cream. So, Kate Somerville, like, the 
It's really moisturizing because the goat's milk, but it wasn't enough for my eczema. So I think, again, this is probably better for spring, summertime, not fall, winter for me because it's not moisturizing enough, like I said before. So probably summertime. Like, I like how, like, this thing pumps up and you get the moisture outside of it, but it's also really frustrating because you want to know what's left over of it. I don't know how to open these things to get, like, the very last drop of it out. Frustrating. Damn it. Whatever. Finish that one. I don't think... I would repurchase this only for the summertime, but any other time, probably not. This is a Paula's Choice Resist Anti-Aging Eye Cream. So for the longest time... Paula's Choice and like Paula Burgorn, um, she made me believe that you don't need an eye cream to have really nice skin around the eyes. However, however, she did decide to do an eye cream herself. It's her only eye cream that she offers that I know of, that I know so far. And I'm not a fan of it. Like, it says to apply sparingly around the whole entire eye using a gentle patting motion. <laughs> And I did do that, however, I felt like it took way too long to absorb into the skin. I think it's because the shea butter that's in it, and shea butter takes a while to absorb into the skin. Whereas I'm so used to eye creams that are like really fast absorbing, and I don't need to like work it in. Like it just like absorbs into my eye area. And this one, I wanted to love it because it's like her first eye cream, and I usually love most of her products. But this one, it didn't really work for me, and I really am sad about it. Like, I think this was around like... $40 Canadian or something and it comes with half an ounce usually eye creams come with one ounce and this is like half an ounce for 40 bucks I don't know how I felt about it. It was just like I was expecting a lot more out of it Especially because she was so against using eye creams and she said you just use a regular face cream and now I don't know Maybe she's gonna reformulate it. Maybe I'll love it But just right now at this moment her first formula for this one. I'm not a fan of because Even if I used a little I still had to like work around the eye and I don't want to be sitting there like working around my eye area the whole entire night or the whole entire day because it's just frustrating. And like, I need to put my makeup on. I can't just wait for the eye cream to absorb in. Is this uh, Pure Lease Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum for all skin types. It's a really small sample of it. This is only 7 milliliters. I liked it. It's really fast absorbing. I don't think I noticed a huge difference, but I, my skin, my under eye area is very hydrated and my eye area is very hydrated, so... If I did have the opportunity to buy the full size of this, I would. I liked it, and I think it's, um, it says beauty through Asian wisdom, so it's kind of like Asian skincare meets Western world, so I think this is per that's what the person who tried to, d the person who started the Pure Lease line, that's what she wanted to do, and I feel like it's working for her, so keep doing what you're doing, Pure Lease. Um, next serum, oh my god, I go through so many serums because I use it morning and night, and I love serums, like, it's my thing. Um, Caudalie Paris, the Venosource, the SOS Thirst Quenching Serum for Dehydrated Skin. As you can see, I use this, and I feel like I used it way too fast for when I bought it. I swear I bought this, like, two months ago or something around that time, and I finished it so fast. And I feel like I might have used too much of the serum, I don't know, but, like, I went through it way too fast, and I, most other serums I go through, most serums last a very long time for me. Like, meaning like two months or like something like that. And this one only lasted like a month. I don't know. I feel like the consistency was a little bit too... Like the viscosity of it was nice, but like it wasn't enough for my skin. I feel like, again, like the SOS Thirst Quenching Serum, I feel like it's good for my um, sp summer, springtime, not so much fall, winter. And I thought this was going to be a good enough serum for my skin. Like it worked. But just not enough for like what my standards were. It just it doesn't work for everyone. But this one is really good, especially I would say for summertime, because since my skin's very dry to dry in like the fall winter time, I would suggest myself to use this in the summer. So maybe summertime this will work for me. But just right now, I went through this way too fast. Like, like literally, <laughs> too fast. I do, I want more. I want more. Uh, next is this Embryo Lease Le Creme Concentré. It's a small size that I put in my purse and I transferred it into a smaller container because this thing, as you can see, there's a band-aid on it. I wish they didn't come in like metal packaging like this. I hate when hand creams or like facial creams come in this like metal type of tube because when you squeeze out of it, sometimes when you bend it, like the it cracks in some areas and so, some of the cream gets out and it's just super annoying. Like I don't know why they put it in this metal container. Maybe it was like the old school type of way, but like so annoying. I just wanted to put it like in a plastic container so you can just like put it through. 
I don't know, but I love this. It's so good. As a primer, it's so good. As a moisturizer, I use this all in my hands. I use this on my face. Like, it's an all-over cream, and I know a lot of makeup artists use this. So, I'm obsessed. I've already have a full size of it, like the bigger one, so I love it. I've already repurchased it. Uh, next is the Ula Hendrickson Truth Serum Collagen Booster for all skin types. It has potent vitamin C complex to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. Okay, so I think I use this um, the correct way. However, I am on medication right now, and it says I shouldn't use large amounts of vitamin C in my daily life. And this one, I notice a difference in my skin, like the sensitivity of it, sensitivity of it because I'm on medication. So. I think if I wasn't on medication, I could use vitamin C on my face. But since this is like high potent levels of vitamin C, my skin was very sensitive when I put on. So when I put on my skin, it kind of stung a little. But that is my fault and I shouldn't have um, done it because I totally forgot I'm not allowed to use a lot of vitamin C in my daily life. So this one is great for people who are not on any like medication or on anything that where you're not allowed to use a lot of vitamin C. But this one... It's so beautiful on the skin. Oh my god, like, even though my skin was sensitive to it, I noticed a difference in my skin. Like, my skin was so much brighter, a lot more even toned. It was so hydrated. Like, I'm like, oh my god, I feel like 15 again. Like, it felt so good. Next is the Alginus Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream. I love this. The consistency of it is very weird because it has al algorithmic acid in it, and it kind of has, like, this seaweed type of, like, jelly type of consistency. And as you can see, I finished the whole entire thing. I use this as my night cream, and I love it. I would repurchase it. It's so good. I'm, like, obsessed. It's delicious. Like, I would totally repurchase this. I love this. It's just the feeling of it on your skin. It just feels so nice. Even though when you look at the container, when you look at it, it looks like it's, like, rotten or something. But it's just so... It looks like cottage cheese consistency, but it's, like, so good. Uh, next is the Jolique Activating Water Essence. It's just a small sample of it. However, I would totally buy the full size of this if it is available, but it's a, what this is, it's a Julique Activating Water Essence, and what you do, what this thing does, it preps your skin for your other skincare to go in, so you use this after your toner, and it makes sure your serum, your eye cream, and your moisturizer get into your skin, so what this, it kind of like activates your pores, so your skincare products can um, go into your pores, and I'm like obsessed with this product, it comes in like a dropper type of consistency, so you gotta like shake it onto your hand, oop, some came out still. Um, and it's so nice. Oh my god. Uh, next product is this Amore Pacific Feature Response Age Defense Serum. So this is part of the 500 point perk from Sephora. Um, I used, obviously I used like, this is only like a 3 milliliter sample, but I love this. I don't know how much the full size of it, but I'm scared because I know Amore Pacific is really expensive. I love this serum. It felt so nice. And it says green tea and pine mushrooms in it. Oh my god. Yeah, I really like this um, serum. Um, I'll probably get another sample of this, but like, I... This serum, though, it's really powerful. Like, I noticed, like, how hydrated my skin was. I'm like, this is crazy! Oh my god, this Korean people, they know what they're doing. Uh, next, oh my god, this is like my favorite eye cream. It's one of my favorite eye creams. It's the Alginist Complete Eye Renewal Balm. So, it's a super hydrating eye cream. But it's, it, it sets in faster than the Polish Choice one. The Polish Choice one is way too thick, but this is like thick, but like not as thick as the Polish Choice one. Oh my god. So this eye balm, it took me forever to finish, but I'm like obsessed with it. Um, I highly recommend you try it out. It's amazing. Again, it's a Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I would totally buy it. Oh my god. Like, it's so good. I, I want to buy another one. Like, it's so good. Um, last skincare product is this Skin Fix lip repair balm. I got this from Generation Beauty and it's for dry chapped lips. It really does work. It's super hydrating. And yeah, I would totally purchase this again. This is Skin Fix. Okay, so next section is makeup. However, I just want to warn you, a lot of this makeup I am just throwing out because it's super old and I'm trying to get rid of it. So if you see some products that are like look full, it's because I'm trying to get rid of it because it's so old. Okay. First product is the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara. This is the color black. It's black. It's not waterproof. Oh my god. So when I saw YouTube videos on how amazing this mascara is, it is so amazing. I'm like obsessed. The brush is pretty unique. It reminds me of my Armani Eyes to Kill mascara, but it's curved. And oh my god, it's amazing. I would totally repurchase this again. So thank you, YouTube, for making me buy this. 
Next. Okay. It's these NYX Mega Shine Lip Glosses in the color Sweetheart and Plush Red. I bought these years ago at IMATS, like a long time ago, and it's, it's time that I throw these out. They're like really nice. They smell like sweet tarts, right? They smell like sweet tarts, and it's just so nice, but they're so old, and you throw them out. It's been, like, years now, so it's time to go. These two are two MAC lip glosses. They were um, limited edition, I believe. What's her name? Temtalia designed one of them. She designed Evolution Revolution, which is this one right here. Um, I didn't really use much of it. I think at the time, I was, like, obsessed with makeup, and I just bought everything, and I bought stuff even though I wouldn't use it and I bought it just because of limited edition you know how those things are um I bought it I only used it a few times and I don't it's like really old now so just throw it out and this one is this Sonoron Sonoron again this one it's so old and just throw it out um they're like these I don't know I'm not a fan of MAC lip glasses because they're so sticky and I don't really like them I don't know I just don't like it but they're old now, so I can throw it out. This one, oh my god, it's like ancient. This is the MAC D Squared Collection, and it's a, it's a grease paint stick in the color V. So it's just this matte purple, and I know it's old because it smells like a crown, and when things start smelling like a crown, it's expired. So this has totally expired. It's just, it's just a matte um, purple uh, eye pencil you put on your face just to like... It's almost like a... It's not an eyeshadow primer, but it's just so your eyeshadows are more pigmented. But yeah, this is expired now, so it's time to go. It was cool when D squared part out with MAC. That was cool. Um, this one is a Smashbox lip gloss in the color Fame. It's really tiny. Super old now. It's expired. Time to go. This one is the Seal Bigelow lip buffer. So it's like a... Um, Oh, shoot. I squeezed them out by accident. Oopsies. It is a lip scrub from Bath and Body Works, and I got this a long time ago, so time to go. Duo Lash Glue, and I believe this is a clear one. Um, this is so old. I need to throw it out, and it smells like really funky, so it's time to go. Um, right now, I'm using a lash adhesive. I don't know the brand of it, but it's just a black one, and I'm getting so comfortable with my false lashes now that I can wear use the black glue and be fine with it. And this one's just a clear one, but when I wasn't good with false lashes, I used to use a clear glue. So this was it. <clears throat> I have three CoverGirl lipsticks. So these are from a long time ago. I don't even know how long ago it is. Um, so I got the color Soulmate, Verve, and Sweetheart. And they look like this, the color. But they're super old. Like, I only wore them, like, a few times. You can still see the point of how, like, new they are. But... Yeah, they're old. They're probably disgusting now, so it's time to go up. But I love the packaging that CoverGirl has. Like, it's so pretty. So this is a really old e.l.f. like um, eyeshadow palette. It's a shade dark. I used I made a video about this, like, years ago. Like, it's one of my first videos I ever made on YouTube. And it's about time I throw this out. Like, I don't know why I didn't throw it out a long time ago. Like, I hardly use this either. I don't know what I was thinking. This when you first got into makeup. But it comes with all of these. Like, you can see it barely touched anything, and, like, it's time for this to go. Like, I hardly used any of these shadows. I don't know what I was thinking. I used a little bit of it, but hardly anything. So, this is going in the garbage. This is the Clinique Color Search Eyeshadow Trio. It comes with Sable, Sparkling Sage, and Daybreak. And these are not pigmented at all. Like, I don't know what happened, but, like, the pigmentation of these doesn't exist. Like... Like, hardly. Like, even when I do this, when you put it on your eye, it's going to be even less than that. Like, I don't know what happened, but you got to use a really good eyeshadow primer with these. But this is such an old palette that I need to throw it out. Like, I don't even know how long I've had this for. Probably a pretty long time. It was probably when I was still using Clinique, like, skincare, and they used to have, like, the bonuses, like, at Sears or the Hudson's Bay, and a bonnet came with this. That's probably what happened. <clears throat> this is an Essence... Quattro eyeshadow palette. Um, I got this from one of my viewers like a long time ago. It's a color 60s Reloaded, and this is really old. I need to throw this out, but like I did use some of the shadows 
I loved it at the time, but it's time for this to go. So thank you to one of my viewers. I'm not sure if you're still following me, but thank you so much for sending this to me. But it's getting old and I have to, unfortunately, throw it out. Mascara from Tarte. I'm obsessed with this. It's a Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. Oh my god. So this makes your lashes so black. It's amazing. And it doesn't smudge on me at all. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the actual tube looks like. And it's so good. I'm obsessed with it. But like, the wand is amazing. Like, Tarte, you did a good job. And this is what the first Tarte product I ever tried. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it is. It's the first Tarte product I ever tried. And then the second one was probably the uh, blush, the Amazonian blush in the color Exposed. But I'm obsessed with this mascara. I would repurchase. Oh my god. So this is so old. This is... <clears throat> the MAC Tender Tones in the color Hush Hush. So Tender Tones are like lip balms that are tinted and they have SPF in them. And this is so old. Like, I hardly used it, but it's time to go because this is so freaking old. Like, so old. And the most MAC stuff are limited edition. This is a limited edition. It's time for it to go. I should back to MAC these, actually. Oh my god, can I back to MAC these? Oh my god, I totally can. Oh my god. Back to MAC is when you take like, I think like five to seven MAC products and you get a full size product back. Oh my god, I can totally do that. Oh my god. Free makeup. Okay, so next product is this Mark Super Flip Color Kit. So I used to work with Avon a long, long time ago and I bought this for myself and I thought it was so cool at the time. So this is from their like younger adult line called Mark. And Lauren Conrad used to partner up with them, and other girls used to partner up with them. I don't know who's a partner with them now, but, like, lip gloss is on one side, and on the other side, when you flip it, oh my god, it's eyeshadows. So, I did use some of these shadows. I was in love with it, but now it's time for it to go. It's super old, so, bye bye Um, next is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I don't even know what the colors are anymore, because it's all ripped off. I believe it's medium ash, when the Brow Wiz used to look like this. It's completely gone, but... I love the brow wiz, but I'd probably use a brow definer now because I have a lot of brow hair and I find the brow definer works a lot better for me. Use less product. This is the NYX Cool Brow Eyeliner Pencil. Not NYX. NYC. Super old, but like I never used it and like I don't want to give it away because I already used it. So I don't think anyone's going to use this, so I got to throw it out. This is an e.l.f. Conditioning Lip Balm SPF 15. I have two of them. One in Peaceful Pink and the other is... Mellow Melon. I hardly use these. I don't know why I bought them. Yeah, I hardly use them. This is Mellow Melon. And this one is Peaceful Pink. But yeah, I don't know why I bought these. Like, it's just a dollar. So I'm like, here, it's a dollar. Didn't use them. I just seriously stopped buying makeup that I'm not going to use. Okay, next is this Essence Volume Up Lip Maximizer. I never used it. But it's probably really old right now, even though I haven't really opened it. Now I just opened it, but I'm not really much of a lip plumper type of person, so I wouldn't use this. Um, I can't remember why I got it, but it's time for it to go. It's been like at least five years. Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer Step 1 Skin Equalizer. I love this stuff. It's great for all year round for me, but specifically... Spring, summer, and fall, I'd use this, but for winter, I'd use the nourishing one because I need the extra hydration in the winter time, and I, like, love this. This is, like, the small Beauty and the Fly size. I do have the larger size as well. Um, this one is a Clinique Full Potential Lips Plump and Shine in the color Blackberry Bloom and Luscious Lilac. It probably came in a duo of, like, a bonus or something, but it's time for this to go. I don't think I've used this once or twice but it's probably really old right now. Time to get rid of it. Um, oh, another Mega Shine Gloss. I didn't even notice. <clears throat> this is the color Pink Frost. Again, I've used it probably three times, and that's it. But these are super pigmented. Like, whatever color you see on the bottle is what's going to show up on your lips. So this is the MAC Dazzle Glasses. I love the Dazzle Glasses. In Roman Holiday. It's, like, basically a, cor a copper color, but with, like, a green duochrome glitters in it, and it's so nice. Oh my god, I remember I used to be so obsessed with these. Amazing. Next is this Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense Lipstick in the color 10. Um, it looks like I hardly used it, and it's true, I hardly used it. 
it smells like really old now, so I need to throw this out, but it's like a candy pink that's frosted. It's a frosty pink. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this, but it's old. Uh, next one is this Avon lipstick. It's a, what is it called? Color Rich, Ultra Color Rich Lipstick in the color Perfect Pink. I used to be obsessed with this lipstick. I used a good amount of it. So basically, it's like really moisturizing. It's the swirl of pink and like a nice beige color in it. So when you put it together, it's like a custom shade on your lips. And I was obsessed with it. I used it, but not enough of it. But now it's old, so I gotta throw it out. Um, next are these two Avon lipsticks. They're from the Mark line. And it's a Shimmer Down High Pearl Lip Glosses. This is the color Pink Spark, and this is the color Feels Ripe. Um, I don't know why I bought these, but they're kind of like similar to like the Lancome Juicy Tubes. Um, and that's probably why I bought it, but I never used too much of it because it's really glossy and it's like kind of sticky and I don't know why I bought it, but I bought it, but now they're old, so it's time to throw it out. Um, next is a liquid eyeliner from NYX. It's the Curved Liner. So I thought it was a cool concept to like have a curved liner, like, oh my god, I broke it. Okay, there I go. It's fixed. It's literally just this tube. How crazy is that? Like, this is all the eyeliner. This is just, like, a device to hold it. Like, this is literally just that. Crazy. Next. Great invention, though. But, like, I didn't like how pigmented the line was for me. Like, I thought this was a cool concept. Like, comfortable to put in your hand. Like, that sort of thing. But, I don't know. I'm so comfortable with liquid eyeliner now that I don't didn't really need anything like that. But I thought, I thought it was just, like, a interesting concept to have, like, a curve. Because it... Lily fits to the perfect curve of your hand. So, yeah, I liked it, but it wasn't pigmented enough for me. And it came with a huge box, too, because of the way it was designed. Um, next, oh my god, my favorite concealer, like, literally of all time, um, is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I got it in the color Custard. I still get the original packaging of it. I know I'm weird. Um, and I finished the whole entire tube of it. Like, literally the whole entire tube. And just a tip for those of people who do have this concealer... Remove the stopper that's from this top part. So there is a stopper. So if you take out the, uh, the stopper, you can actually grab more of the product inside because I know this concealer is really expensive. It's like $36 or something. But, like, you can still grab more. That's with any lip glosses or anything that comes in a container like this where there's a stopper. Take out the stopper so you can get the last bit of product. And I grabbed, like, every last bit of product that I could from this container. And I'm obsessed. So I'm the color custard. I haven't bought a new one yet, but I'm currently using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Light Medium. I like I like it, but I don't love it as much as this one because this is medium to full coverage. That one is like sheer to medium, the Too Faced, and I'm not like, I don't know. I like something that's more full coverage under the eyes, especially if you're paying the price for it. Like, I want my coverage. Um, next is the lipstick from Avon again. This one is the color... Color Colodisiac and the color Pouty Pink. Oh my god, there's so many Pouty Pinks. And this one, I can't remember what the concept was behind this lipstick, but I think it was like a certain scent to it that you like, that goes with the lipstick or something like that. But like, I love the packaging. Like, look how cute this is. Like an ombre, black and purple, and it has like this nice pink one. And I think it had like Avon on the lipstick, like embossed as well. Like, I thought that was cool. Old, time to go. Um, next is a Seal Bigelow Cinnamon Menthol Lip Shine. Cinnamon and Mint Infused for Fresh Breath. Uh, I think I used this once or twice, and I don't know why I bought it, but time to go. It's old. Um, this one. Oh my god, I used a good amount of this. This is from one of my glossy boxes, or Vox box, or just some type of, like, sample box. It's the Sulla Natural Lip Gloss in the color Come Find Me. And I think it was, like, an organic, like, line, but this is made in Canada. And it's, like, a nice, like, nude lip gloss. I thought it was really nice. I don't know where to buy the full size of this. I'm pretty sure if I just Google the website, I wonder if they still exist because this is such a long time ago. But their, like, line was organic. It says natural lip gloss, so I'm assuming it's, like, organic or, like, a natural, like, cosmetic line. So this is cool. So this is a Sella natural lip gloss in the color Come Find Me. Oh, here it is. Another Make It Forever primer. It's the Make It Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and the Nourishing Primer. And I love this primer. Like I said, this one I use in the winter time and literally put this all over my face before I put on my foundation or any of my um, face products and I'm in love with it. Next one is the Maybelline Clear Mascara in the Great Lash. So this was old. I need to throw it out. But when I used to fill my eyebrows in with the uh, 
with a powder. I used to use this a lot, like, on my eyebrows, but now I don't really use a clear mascara anymore on my brows. I just use, like, a tinted brow gel now um, on my brows. So, yeah, no longer need this anymore, and it's been super long time since I used this, so it's time to throw it out. I'm saying that a lot, and it's super annoying, but it's true. I need to throw a lot of things out. Uh, this is the Inglot Eyeshadow. I got it. It's a color 354. And I finished the, this, is, this is my brow highlight. And I finally hit pan. Like, the first time I bought this, like, literally, it's, it's so funny. I still have the packaging. I finished this whole entire pan, and it took me so long to finish it. And I got this, like, when I first went to Vegas, like, years and years ago. And I bought it. And I finally finished it. Like, there's a lot of product in this pan. And I think I used it almost every single day. If not, like, whenever I wore makeup, I use this as my brow highlight. And, yeah. So I bought new ones of this. I bought two backups. I'm on my second pan of it right now. But it lasts a very, very long time. So thank you, Inglot, for making amazing products. Um, next is the lipstick from Makeup Forever. It's a Rouge Artist Intense number 29. Um, this is just really old. It smells old. And it's time for it to go. But it's like a... It looks like a matte brown that's on the red side, almost like a berry, like a dark brown berry lip. Um, yeah, I used it just a few times, but I had to throw it out because it's old. And it smells funky, and you don't want to have funky lipstick on your lips. So, I threw out my first beauty blender. This is my first beauty blender, and I cut it up because I wanted to see what it looked like inside. Because I've seen a lot of Instagram posts and stuff, or like post where people like cut their beauty blade in half and see what it looks like in the middle and surprisingly mine in the middle looks pretty good like there's nothing in the middle some people have like makeup in the middle um but mine is just has makeup on the outside but yeah that's like my first beauty blender that I threw out because it got like really dirty and disgusting so I had to say goodbye to it I thought that was cool okay and the next product is a Lancome Eclipse Miracle is a serum of light complexion illuminator so you supposed to shake this before you use it, but it's like a liquid illuminator, and this one I had for a very long time. It's very nice. I would say to put this just in the highlights of where you want your face to be highlighted or all over the face when you mix it in with your moisturizer. And this is gorgeous. It's a nice, it's more on the pearl side, so it's white, but when it dries, it obviously gives you that nice luminescent look. But um, this is old, so I have to throw it out, but I have like half the product left, but it's not worth putting on my skin, especially if it's like been a few years, it's too risky. Um, next is, oh my god, this is so old. Remember when I used to fill my eyebrows with MAC, um, eye products? MAC eyebrow products? But this is a MAC Impeccable Brow Pencil and Taupe. Oh my god. Like, they don't make this pencil anymore, and I tried to find a dupe of it at Sephora for the longest time, and I finally found, like, my closest dupe, which is the, um, Shoe Mara Hard 9 Pencil in the color Steel Gray. But I used to fill in my eyebrows with this product all the time, like... I was obsessed with this product, and now the MAC eyebrow products, I don't know what happened to them, but they're not as good as they used to be, in my opinion, and, yeah, this is the last bit of it, like, look, it's so small, I can't even use this anymore. Uh, almost the last product, this is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy uh, Lip Treatment, and I literally hit the last bit of it. There, I could scoop it out, but I'm too lazy to scoop it out, but this product is amazing, it's... Not as good as, like, my other lip balms that I have, but this is really great, especially if your lips are just chapped and you just want some product. But, like, if your lips are super, super chapped, you need this plus other things, too. This is not just going to fix the chapped lips, but I like this. I like the packaging. It's very chic and very clean. So, the last beauty product is my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. So, as you can see, I finished a lot of it because I'm obsessed it's like my favorite setting spray slash toner toner when if, if I'm like on the go but I'm obsessed with it and the reason why there's still some product in this one is because it won't spray anymore it won't spray properly like it's like really sad looking I can't like they change their sprays now like um so their older sprays let me see yeah their older sprays look like this so they have the metal part at the bottom the plastic part at the top but the new one has, like, a metal part at the bottom, but it's more of a rounder top, and it's a lot easier to spray as compared to the old version. So they just changed the sprays because people were complaining about how the oils were clogged in there and it won't spray properly, so they just changed the packaging for it at the top, so it's a lot better now. So thank you, Caudalie, for fixing that because that was really annoying. I couldn't, like, spray my product because it kept getting clogged because of the peppermint oil that was in it. But thank you so much for 
watching this video. I know it's super long and I know I've been gone for a while. But I'll be back with more videos in the new year. I'm just posting whenever I'm available because I do have a full-time job. But thank you so much for your patience. Um, I wish you the best 2017. Ring in 2017. Stay safe. Please don't drink and drive. And I love you all. Bye.